guys and welcome back. Um, thanks for coming to kind of see what we've got going on over here today. And today is going to be um, some Disney info. Um, so I'm going to show you um, kind of some basically what you get when you get a free quote from me. I'm also going to show you this form and this, um, this exact form is available in my Etsy shop as a digital download so you can download it and print it as many times as you want so um i'm just going to show you how i use it um and i'm going to show you some quotes so um i think i may start doing this on a regular basis so if you have any quotes that you would like for me to share in one of these videos um leave them in the comments and i'll um I'll try to pick from those to do the next video. Um, so today's quote, I am looking at, and I'm gonna write my dates here. We're looking at March 16th through the 20th, 2022. And it is currently January 20th of 2022. And so there's not a whole lot of availability left two months out. So I, um, I'm doing some planning videos on, you know, when you need to be planning to, you know, have the most availability and the best selection of where you want to stay. Um, so you can see from this, there is only one value resort that has any availability for these dates and that is Art of Animation and that's their family suites. Um, so I am doing one for Art of Animation. Um, and this resort has standard rooms that are Little Mermaid themed and it has family suites which consists of a bedroom, a like table area but the table falls down into a Murphy bed and then it has kind of a living area and that bed pulls, the couch pulls out and it has a microwave and a sink and stuff kind of a, I guess you would call it kind of a kitchenette and like the mini fridge. And these rooms also give you two bathrooms. So if you have, and they sleep six. So if you have a family of five, these are a good option. Or if you need, just need that extra bathroom, that's a good idea. So for this one, it is the Cars Suite. And this quote is, um, I did apply the current offer that is available. And this is the only room I could find that was still available to apply the current offer, which is so much off each night. It And it varies depending on whether you're to value a moderate or a deluxe. So um, I want to say value, it's only like 15 or $20 off per night. Um, so for this one, it is the car suite, cars. Um, I applied the current offer. You get four day base tickets. So that's one park per day. I did not add Park Hopper and I did not add Genie Plus, but in a few minutes I'll tell you what it would be to add those. Um, Memory Maker is 169 if you add it more than three days from your check-in and it is 199 if you add it within that three days or after. Um, if you add in Memory Maker, so this does not have G+, Plus. Um, it does not have Memory Maker. Um, so the for this, for 17, 18, 19, 20, four nights? No. Yeah. Why did I do four day tickets? Normally I would just, okay, anyway, four day tickets. Um, so March 16th to the 20th, so it's four nights five days, four day tickets. Pros of this resort, it does have more than one, the, more than one mode of transportation. You have the Skyliner. It does have three pools. Um, you're right next to Pop Century, so if you wanted to go over to Pop Century and use their food court, you could. Um, and then that Skyliner access can take you to you know, Caribbean Beach, it can take you to the Riviera, it can take you to the um, Epcot resorts for dining options. 
And you know, you can get to Hollywood Studios and Epcot that way and not just the bus. You're not just limited to bus transportation. Um, and if you are driving, the cost per night for parking here is only $15. So that's, that's a benefit too. Um, <coughs> cons, if the Skyliner is having issues or if the Skyliner, if there is storms or anything, the Skyliner won't run. So you are limited to just buses. Um, and then the buses, if you don't want to ride the Skyliner, the buses to Epcot and Hollywood Studios only run once per hour. One time per hour. Um, it is a, it is a value. There's only one dining option. And it is a large resort, lots of people lots of rooms not as bad as like your all-star resorts because they're huge and you know they've only got the single rooms where these are the family suites so they're not quite as many um i really like this is really good if you want um lots of disney so if you have smaller kids and they are all about the animation then this this resort is your is your go to. So this quo is $4,561.59. You do save, you know, a little bit with that uh, offer that's applied. Um, I'm thinking it was over $4,700 without the offer. Um, so there's that. The Nemo Suite I think was also available, but it was a little bit higher because it's kind of the preferred section where the car suite is not. But it's still... It's still pretty close to the main building. Um, when you come out to go to the rooms, it's over to the right where the Nemo is straight ahead. All right, so that is Art of Animation. Then the next one, we're gonna do the same dates, March 16th through the 20th. Oh, and I didn't put down, this is for four people. You've got two adults and two kids. And the kids, I did 11 and 6, I think. The 11-year-old will be counted as an adult on ticket prices. That's why I did that. And then the 6-year-old will get a child's ticket. So that's kind of important if you're looking at this. You know, if you only have one child or if they're both under, um, if they're both 9 or under, or maybe you've got a 6-year-old and a 2-year-old and the 2-year-old won't need a ticket, that sort of thing. So um, that's what this quote is for. Um, all right, so quote number two, we're looking at Coronado, Coronado Springs, and this is in the Animal Kingdom area. Uh, you still have to take a bus everywhere, but we'll talk about pros and cons in a second. Um, so Coronado Springs, this did not have the offer applied, but it is a tower room. It's in the Grand Destino Tower, which are very nice rooms. And it is a water view. Um, again, these are four day base tickets. Uh, I did not do Memory Maker. I did not do Genie Plus. Pros for Coronado Springs. The room itself, since you'll be in a tower room, rooms are newer. Um, you do have a gym, workout, fitness center. Um, you do have, you know, multiple dining options. This is a uh, convention resort. So a lot of people have conventions here that aren't there just for Disney. So multiple dining options. Lots of great places to eat here. Um, mm, yeah, cons, you know, you're limited to bus transportation only, but I would, I would say Coronado is kind of the deluxe adjacent kind of, uh, 
moderate resort because it does have um, club rooms, club level rooms. It does have, it has a lot of amenities that the other moderates don't have. And you're getting it at a moderate price. So that's, that's very beneficial. So I do recommend this resort. I book a lot of people at this one. Um, so the room here, the quote is less. But again, in this one, you only have the, you know, the standard hotel room, two, two full bed or two queen size beds and the bathroom. So this one is $3,923.71. So, you know, it's uh, a good $600 less for the Coronado Springs than the Art of Animation. Um, the parking per night here, so the parking per night here is 15. The parking per night here is 20 because it is a moderate resort. All right, and then we'll move on to the last one. And the last one, we're still looking at March 16th through the 20th. This is a Wednesday through Sunday. So if you want to do like a long weekend. Um, and then we're looking at the French Quarter, Port Orleans French Quarter, which did open up recently. Love this resort. It's the smallest of the moderates. So it's it doesn't have the, oh, sorry, cons for Coronado. Multiple bus stops. Because that is a pro for French Quarter. It's the only moderate with only a one single bus stop. So the room top here is a garden view. Tickets, again, four day base. One park per day. Which if you're only going to be there for, you know, four nights, you probably don't want to hop around too much. Um, make the most in each park. Memory Maker, no. Genie Plus, no. Pros, um, smaller resort. One bus stop. And I, I want to say beignets, but, um, I don't know how to spell beignets. I don't think that's right, but we'll write it down. And you have boat transportation to Disney Springs, which allows you tons of shopping and entertainment and uh, dining options. Boat to Disney Springs. Um, it is the only moderate with no table service restaurant. They do have a lounge. Scat Cats is where you get your beignets. So no table service. Um, and other than the boat to Disney Springs, you know, you are limited to bus, buses only to the parks. But I love this resort. That's probably one of my Probably my favorite moderate is French Quarter. I like Coronado if I'm staying in the new tower. Um, but if I had to pick, French Quarter or Riverside would probably be one of my two favorites. Um, all right, so the quote for this one is, again, a little bit less. So you have $3,603.09. So, you know, almost a almost $1,000 less to stay at French Quarter. Again, this is, you know, your standard hotel room, two queen beds, and the bathroom. Um, the Art of Animation is gonna have interior hallways, so you can put that. Interior hallways. Whereas, um, oh, Coronado has interior because you're in the tower. So this will be your only one with exterior hallways. Um, but if you, you know, if that doesn't matter, this is, su it's, it's just such a cute resort. So anyway, um, so there's the quotes, 4561, 3923, and 3603. If you wanted to add Genie Plus, so I'm gonna put that down here at the bottom you can see this okay so park hopper if you wanted to add park hopper to all four of your tickets it would be an additional 
$362.09. And if you wanted to add Genie Plus to all your tickets for all four days, it would be $255.60. I mean, there's no discount for adding it early. It's just it's just already done for you. You've already paid for it. Um, so it's it's completely up to you if you go ahead and add those. Uh, but overall, um, let me know what you think about this video. Again, I'll link this, my Etsy shop, in the description box. Uh, leave me a comment if you want to see quotes for your next Disney trip on my next quote video. Um, and we'll talk about planning some trips. And uh, give this a thumbs up if you liked it. And subscribe to see more. I'll talk to you guys later.